Hello everyone, my name is Kaijiro. Today I'm going to show how to do this box transition in the Visual Resolve. And this tutorial is based off this transition by Genitors. And yeah, so I have my clips prepared here. And the first thing I want to do is add a adjustment clip for my media pool. So just drag it in. And I'm going to make it 7 frames long. And make sure that the first clip has two frames of the adjustment clip. So like this. And then right click open a fusion. Okay, so in the fusion tab, first add a rectangle mask. And plug it in the media in. It's in the rectangle mask, set the width to 0.25 and the height to 0.25. And put it in the top left corner like this. And on the rectangle mask, you can already set the keyframe on the angle in the center on the first frame. And on the last frame, keyframe it again. And then on the second frame, change some of the values slightly. Like that. And then this one also a bit like that. So we got a little bit of movement already. Then add a duplicate node. And plug the rectangle mask in the yellow input of the duplicate node. In the yellow input of the duplicate node. And the duplicate node sets the uh, copies to 4. And the center, the x axis, with 2.75. That's how we get this. And in the duplicate node, uh, go to the jitter tab. And on the first frame, set the keyframe on the angle. Put a small value like. 1.5 and on the ne next frame put it a bit higher and on the next frame even higher and then on the last frame put it back to a low value like this so I get this I can also do that on the center so I'm gonna do that first frame and on the last frame so the keyframe and on the second frame slightly change a bit of the values like this and the next frame maybe also just a little bit and that's how you get this and then add a, another duplicate note and set the copies to 4 again and from the center set the y-axis to 0.25 now we play it back look at this and now we're gonna do the same thing again on the jitter tab. Set the keyframe on the angle on the first frame and on the last frame. And change a bit of the values. And on the next frame. It's already how I get this. So on the center. Changing some of the values. And that's basically it for the box transition. You can add more impact by adding a little skill in with a transform node. So add a transform node after the media in. And on the first frame, set a keyframe on the size. And on the next frame, set it to 1.2. And the next frame, set it to 0.95. And the frame after that, set it back to 1. That's how we get a little skill in. A bit more impact and you can also add a shake so shift space and type in transform and choose the one without the xf at the end and plug it in like this and in the transform node uh, right click on the position y and modify it with anim, anim curves and now you get this modifier step Click on it and in the source set it to duration, curve to easing, in and out to elastic, and in the scale set it to 0 0.1, 0 0.01, and the offset to 0 0.01, and that's how we get a little shake. You can't really see it, but it's there. And yeah, that's it for the transition. I hope this helped a little bit, and thanks to. Uh, Giovanni for requesting this tutorial. Yeah, bye.